Hi, everyone, and welcome to the Pattern Shift on Dr. T TV. I'm Dr. T, and this is the place where we shift reactions into intentions so we can all live our most elevated life. So the pattern shift today is one of my absolute faves. And this is the pattern shift of replacing, stopping something to doing something. And this is a really, really epic one because Think about all the times in your life or anybody's life that you know, or just, just anywhere where that word stop is, um, that word, other than a very particular, particular scenario that that would be reserved for, that word is also just responsible for a lot of reactivity, right? If you say stop doing this and stop doing that, the reality is, we're not really given the directions. And if we just say, I'm going to stop drinking, I'm going to stop um, arguing, I'm going to stop um, overeating, that's not given us the directions. And the reality is that the mechanism of us and other people is always on. It's always on. In reality, even if something somebody stops something for a second, what's really happening is, say if you said, um, stop yelling. Well, even if the person stops yelling, really what they're doing is they're being quiet. <laughs> and that's actually what's happening. And so instead of these patterns where people are saying, stop doing this and stop doing that, and I'm going to stop them from doing that, and I'm going to make sure I'm going to stop that from happening, um, all of that stuff, first of all, it doesn't feel very good because it's like, God, that takes a lot. I've got to stop something that's in motion from happening. Rather, we just want to do something. We want to go from stop it to do it, right? We're going to stop it to do it. So instead of I'm stopping something, I'm doing something, right? So I'm going to give you an example. My dog, TJ, who is this blue mini wiener dog, and he's like, my toughest clients to date. Um, but the emotional training process is working for him because, you know, for an example, if TJ's barking and I say, stop it, stop it, or no, even no, but just I'm using stop it today, stop it. Well, TJ, the mechanism of TJ is always on. So if I say stop it, TJ doesn't really know what that is. And if I give him more of this cue, quiet, well, first of all, if I say stop it, I'm saying that loudly and he's more, he's, what he does is he ends up taking that intensity and guess what he does? He keeps barking, right? If I say stop barking, he keeps barking because he's hearing barking. <laughs> Took me a while to figure this out, but I got it. Um, if, I, if I say quiet, well, when I say quiet, guess what? I start to get quiet, I'm like quiet, TJ quiet, well, TJ is taking the emotional cue. He's taking the cue. This is physics. If I say quiet, I'm actually taking the cue myself and I'm, and I'm becoming quiet. And then TJ is becoming quiet. And guess what? The very thing that I really wanted was quiet. I didn't just want TJ to stop barking. I just wanted to experience the beautiful quiet. So if I say what it is that I want, then I'm going to create it. So we want to do a big pattern replacement here. And we're going to replace stop it with do it and do it really represents just the thing that you want put it in there instead if you say you know stop being late you're talking to your partner stop being late you're going to say oh please be on time now you're giving the person the directions be on time now you're conditioning it you do it over and over you know every time they're late you're like please be on time but if you say don't be late stop being late Guess what you're conditioning? You're conditioning more late. Now they've got the late thing and now they got to translate it. Wait, I have to stop being late? Wait a second, I still have late in there. So the reality is you're gonna, you're gonna be late because you're conditioning late, but we wanna condition what we want. Start being on time and more accurately, please be on time and even simpler, be on time. <laughs> I'll see you on time, right? This is a great pattern shift so now everywhere you would have in your life, you and everyone you would have been interacting with would have been on this 
stop it program. And in the stop it pattern, we're going to go, we're going to take this out and we're going to pop in the new pattern. It's going to do it. It's going to do it. We're going to say whatever it is, right? If we're going to stop eating, no, we're going to do it. We're going to eat beautiful food. We're going to start, stop gaining weight. No, I'm going to live at my absolute optimal ideal weight, whatever it is that your, their weight is. We're going to do a huge replacement invitation for the rest of your life. Replace, stop it with do it and do it is just fill in the blank. Now your whole rest of your life, that one replacement is a game changer. It has the power to transform your entire life. Right? This is the power of emotional training and why I'm so passionate about it. And I have a whole team of coaches that do these pattern shifts with people every day in our emotional training programs, which you can check out at drtracyinc.com. And if this pattern shift is helping you and you think it might help other people, go ahead and share it and spread this pattern shift around because boy, don't we want a world of people that are, instead of everybody going, stop it and yammering on about that, we now are creating a world where people just do it, right? And that is a great pattern shift. So thanks for tuning in for this one and we'll see you next time. Take care.